Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. Okay guys, so today I have five niche perfumes to show you. I was expecting two more, but the post is taking ages. I know everyone's gonna be like, mm, coronavirus, you have to be open-minded. No, I'm not open-minded. When I pay for shipping, I want it to be here the next day, okay? So basically, uh, first of all, I discovered a new brand that is Swiss, that is called Jousset Parfum. Uh, it is uh, handmade perfumes and they are extra of parfum, meaning they have more perfume oil than normal eau de parfum. Uh, and uh, they are affordable for the quality. And more niche than that, I mean, you don't really find. My favorite of the three that I got is called Gourmand Bacchor. By the way, Bacchor, yes. I don't know, Gourmand Bacchor. Uh, everything will be linked in the description, as always, as usual, okay? So it looks like that. This perfume, like three sprays, last you until the next day. I can smell it from here, literally. So this, okay, I don't even need to spray it because this smells so strong, okay. This reminds me of a creamy McDonald's Sunday caramel with oriental vibes. You know, it's very, very sticky perfume. I never understood people before that were saying, oh my God, this is so fluffy, this is so sticky. No, this is literally a sticky, sweet, caramelly, milky perfume with oriental background. If you want a original uh, gourmand, I would definitely try this. And there are 15 ml bottles, and what else do I have to say? Yeah, no, nothing, I absolutely recommend that. Sticky Caramel Milky Oriental, amazing. And the lasting power, it's unreal. Then I have a Ramdon Night. Do you see it? Yes, you do. Okay, so this, so this perfume is, uh, projects more, uh, how to say, modestly, but it still lasts a long time. It is kind of a date, date oud. And it's kind of a bright perfume. It's very comforting. I feel like uh, you definitely put this in the category of Orientals, 100%. Uh, it smells almost like, yeah, it's like an Oriental fig. I think I have never smelled anything similar to the Jousset par perfumes. I don't have, they all have a sig uh, like a signature and uh, I really appreciate that. Same as Montal has a signature, but uh, I think that they're just niche and I really wanted to find a new brand that no one knows about, but now I'm talking about it to you, so everyone is gonna know about, but yeah. Pink Saffron. Okay, so this is ridiculously strong. It is a saffron, kind of spicy, wood perfume. Again, it is an oriental. You clearly smell the saffron. Me and my fiance absolutely love this one. Uh, I literally, you know, I always put perfume before I go to bed. I put three sprays of this. I could not sleep for an hour <laughs> because it was too strong. I literally had to remove my clothes, like kind of uh, wash myself a little bit because it was too strong. This has a ridiculous projection, same as same as Gourmand Bacchor has. These two have the best projection. If you want something oriental, but like more low-key, I would go for this one. Anyway, go check out. All the links are in the description. Blah, 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 blah. Just as usual. Then I have this. So this is Juliette has a gun. Mm. Um, okay, so this has two notes I do not like. Let's start by the negative. I always like to take the negative out of the way, okay? This has to know, this has neroli and this has patchouli. I don't like neither neroli, neither patchouli. I can smell them in this perfume, but they are blended in the background. And I just wanted to make a check with you guys because when I did this uh, video about five notes I did not like in perfumes, it doesn't mean 
that all the perfumes on the planet that has it in the back or well blended, I won't buy because people were like, ah, oh, but two years ago you mentioned this, two years ago you mentioned that. And guys, I know it's like haters and annoying people, but seriously, like, I don't feel hurt about it. I feel just no annoyed because it's like, it's like searching in someone's past. Like, what the fuck? Okay, but well, whatever. Sorry for swearing, honeys. Um, also, someone said that Neroli and Orange Blossom is the same thing. Wrong! Uh, Neroli is Orange Blossom mixed with uh, some sort of citrusy toilet smelling note, okay? So if you are, you were like, <laughs> Neroli and Orange Blossom is the same thing, no, it's not, okay? So yeah, this has Neroli and Patchouli, but overall, honestly, the thing with that is the lasting power. Again, why do perfumes have to do that? Like, I don't understand. Is it so hard to make a long-lasting perfume? Plus, it has patchouli. But I absolutely love the scent. It's kind of a, a more um, wearable, hypnotic poison from Dior. I think it's also quite compared to it. It's also quite similar to... Uh, wait, one that I really like. Azadine Alaya uh, Blanche. It's very similar to that. And uh, I really like the bottle. I absolutely love this red color. Amazing. It smells good. The only... It has Neroli and Patchouli, but here... Blended with Gourmands, I, I feel like Patchouli is okay. Uh, one of my favorite perfumes of all time is Gucci Rush. And Gucci Rush is very strong on Patchouli. But because it's counterbalanced by a um, crisp note, it makes it totally wearable and lovable and likable and whatever. So, yeah, this smells like gourmand. I suppose it has vanilla or something. Some nuts. It's very, very similar to, um, as I told you, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. But not 100%, I would say 70% dupe. But the Hypnotic Poison from Dior, I have the older version, lasts a little bit longer than that. Then uh, I have Aqua di Parma Rosa Nobile. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think Aqua di Parma is that niche anymore because, like, I see it everywhere. It's not that niche, it's just expensive. So, um, I wanted this, I don't know even why. I blind bought it, I'm going to be totally honest. Same as all the other ones. <laughs> and uh, this is a soft rose. I'm actually wearing this now. I bought it in a kit, it was on sale, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it had the shower gel and the lotion, and I'm totally biased on these sales. Like, come on, let me show you the box it came in. Like, it came in this box, and I'm totally biased for this kind of stuff. Like, look how pretty it is. I just love it. It's so pretty. And, uh, yeah, so basically, it's very similar to me. Uh, like, first time I smelled it, it reminded me of the Guerlain... You know the Guerlain Aqua Allegorias? The one, the rose one. Rosa Rosa or something. But just better. And it doesn't last amazingly. I would say like medium lasting power. Um, if you like rose perfumes, if you like to smell soft, I would say this is also more for spring. Unlike all the other ones that are more for fall. Um, It really smells like a natural rose, like a natural, a real rose. Uh, I prefer artificial scents or very strong oriental scents. So I will end up uh, mixing that. This is a very good perfume to mix with strong woods, strong masks, strong spicy perfumes, because a rose goes pretty much on top of everything. So for me, this, I'm going to put it like in my layering perfume category because it that, it's not complex enough for me just yet but anyway regardless of anything i really like these perfumes uh i was waiting two more literally one um, i can tell you which one they are but i blame both and them so i cannot review it's casablanca from swiss arabian and florence from swiss arabian and oh i'm also getting uh keali uh the white floral one deja vu Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a haul for these when they arrive, plus probably a few other ones. Okay, guys, let me know if you like my hauls. Uh, are you interested by any of the fragrances I mentioned here? Uh, what did you buy new? Uh, 
uh and yeah let me know in the comments below guys as usual you know i absolutely love you subscribe to my channel like like this video activate the notification bell and i see you in my next one bye loves bye guys why did i say bye loves <laughs>